It's not easy being a big YouTuber. There's always gonna be people who want you dead for a joke you made five years ago, or people who want you dead for your opinion on a Japanese cartoon, or people who want you dead because their parents never loved them. But usually, the admiration and fame that comes with YouTube success is typically strong enough to drown out any of the absurd hate that comes with being super famous. Also money. However, every once in a while, there's just that one YouTuber that keeps pissing people off and become so controversial that merely mentioning their name is an invite to a comment section more toxic than Chernobyl. If you're somehow wondering how a Minecraft YouTuber has managed to become so notorious, what are you even doing here? You might forget now because of his incredible music career, but Dream's actually a very skilled Minecraft player and speedrunner. I'd be lying if I say I didn't used to enjoy his Minecraft Manhunt series. Dream is a gamer, which means he definitely had a few gamer moments. You know, a few a Freudian nigger. slips. They added a new skin variation. You may have noticed my hand. This is very interesting. We have Steve, for guys, Tyrone. Now this is a good change, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that love this change and they're gonna love to use this skin. Uh, make sure you include Tyrone with Alex and Steve in the future, do not segregate him from the rest. All of this was before Dream decided to dedicate his life to queer baiting Fujoshis and could get away with being just a little bit more edgy. I never assumed Dream was actually racist, he just fell victim to the YouTube algorithm basically turning everyone into Ben Shapiro in 2016. This man was homeschooled, if he had a racist bone in his body we would definitely know no. That being said, I can't take him seriously when he tries to do something like donate to BLM because I really doubt it comes from a place of sincerity. Is there a single black person in the Dream SMP? I just think it's a bit bizarre how much Dream tries to curate his image, be it through shallow activism or hiring an astrophysicist to back up his very obviously fake speedrun. A professor with a PhD that graduated from Harvard that's actually a practicing astrophysicist that is an expert in statistics and astrostatistics. This was probably the worst thing that could happen. So yeah, that was a thing that happened. Dream had submitted a few speedruns to speedrun.com for Minecraft, and eventually the moderators noticed that his luck compared to other speedrunners was astronomically high. It all culminated into a video made by the moderators that gave a pretty good breakdown as to why Dream's odds in his most recent speedruns were totally improbable. Dream decided to fire back with a response video where he claims to have gotten a professional astrophysicist to help defend his odds. And for a while, there was a bit of back and forth online on whether Dream could actually be correct here. His so-called astrophysicist was a ghost that no one could find or credit. And after a while, everyone just sort of moved on and stopped caring. Dream was obviously barred from submitting any more speedruns on speedrun.com, but the worst part about this whole situation is just how awful Dream fans were to the moderators. Geosquare, the guy that uploaded the original video, was relentlessly harassed by Dream fans who were so desperate to defend their block daddy that they didn't even bother to consider the evidence against him. And then... <laughs> A few months later, Dream would eventually admit in a very long and emotionally manipulative pastebin that he accidentally cheated by forgetting to turn off the mods he used for his manhunt videos. And you want to know what all of his fans started saying after that? It's just a block game. I wanted to not bring up Dream's stand so much in this video as to not detract from the focus on the man himself, but I don't think there's possibly a way we can talk about him without mentioning his deranged, myopic, and parasocial stand. I find it kind of sad that a man whose entire career was propelled by Minecraft content has a fan base of people who clearly do not care about the game or its community at all. This is something that's blatantly evidenced with all the people who kept saying the speedrunning stuff wasn't important because it's just a block game. Like, you've all seen Summoning Salt, speedrunning is not a joke. Speedrunners can and will spend countless hours of their lives trying to bring down a record by mere seconds. We also have to mention that time Dream rigged the mob vote by rallying his fans to vote for the Glow Squid, and I guarantee you, 90% of these people do not play survival Minecraft. I don't really know why or how he even managed to attract a fanbase like this, but Dream definitely knows his audience and loves pandering to them. 
probably because it makes him a shit ton of money, but also it might be he just likes the attention he gets from all of these young women. Yes, we will get to the grooming allegations very soon. Please keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times. I suck his dick. Dream also makes music. Moving on. I can't even begin to list the amount of controversies Dream has been in. A lot of them aren't really serious, but kind of prove something I want to bring up towards the end of a video. The funniest thing is that half of these controversies are literally just his own fans being upset that he isn't obeying their every will. Like, there is one where Dream did a generic tribal war cry in one of his videos, and then a bunch of people on Twitter got upset because it was somehow offensive to Native Americans. Somehow. Did I mention Dream was homeschooled? Dream actually gave a pretty reasonable response, but he kind of went overboard when he started mentioning Spongebob and having Native Americans in his blood. <laughs> this was during the time when he was very much transitioning from gamer to groom. There was also that time that everybody made fun of his song, Mask, and then he tweeted out something making fun of people for finding his song bad, but loving music about drugs. And then he apologized for that tweet being offensive to black people? What? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Dream was homeschooled, don't forget this. In a strange attempt to save face and not look racist, he inadvertently end up revealing that he's kinda racist. Speaking of racists, Dream actually had Notch, the creator of Minecraft, on one of his Manhunt videos. It was taken down for obvious reasons later on, but I find it interesting that Notch even agreed to do this in the first place. Maybe Notch never returned because Dream absolutely destroyed him in a rap battle. Or not, you've lost the fight. Put up your flag and don't worry, it's okay that it's wild. All of Dream's past controversies kind of just faded away after a while. Really, it was all just petty internet drama people used to keep themselves entertained. But everything changed when the grooming allegations no, attacked. It's okay, he probably just thinks you're really molestable. Just let him groom you a little bit, he'll come around. Before we can talk about these grooming allegations, we have to understand that Dream is an influencer that people love to hate. And this video might have given you an insight as to why. But prior to the grooming allegations, there's never really been a truly justified reason for why so many people were so extremely vitriolic against him. The grooming allegations to many of his greatest haters were finally a perfect reason to legitimately destroy him. And... I just want to show you this image that was pretty much everywhere on Twitter when the grooming allegations came out. This right here is insane. You are admitting that you are glad that teenage girls were groomed because now it means you can justify bullying a Minecraft YouTuber you didn't like for way pettier reasons. I can't be the only one who finds this behavior like absolutely insane. Dream stands are crazy, but some of his haters also deserve to be put in a straitjacket and forced to watch 10 hours of static to cleanse their terminally online souls. Now here's the big question. Is Dream a groomer? Well, you see... Connection terminated. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Elizabeth. If you still even remember that name... Hi guys. Lacer here. Originally, I wanted to dedicate this segment into analyzing whether or not Dream is a groomer by addressing the allegations, but it got to a point in my research where it was basically impossible to gather concrete information or come to some sort of reasonable conclusion because there is a lot of contradictions and misinformation being spread, and I sort of realized that I'm completely out of my element to be even talking about allegations like this, but I just need to say Dream is constantly seeking the attention and approval of his fan base, largely consisting of very young women and teenage girls, and he definitely knows this because he's always queer baiting and trying to act like he's a living thirst trap TikTok. So I'm not saying anything, but is it really that crazy to assume that he might have overstepped his boundaries with a few friends and, you know, did a little grooming? <laughs> When I started making this video, I wanted to sort of defend Dream because I felt like for the longest time he was overhated and the reaction to his face reveal video made me feel really sorry for him. But the more and more I just looked into some of his controversies and more importantly how he responded, it really made it hard for me to make any sort of defense for him in good faith. I don't think Dream is some calculating evil sociopath. I just think he's, you know, 
kind of slow. I don't mean that as an insult, by the way. I'm pretty slow myself, but I don't know. This was supposed to be a lot. I, I imagined this video being a lot more fun, but it's, it's kind of just depressing, and I kind of just want to get it over with, so sorry for this very abrupt ending you're about to get, and a similar thing happened with my last video. I hope this doesn't become a reoccurring theme. <laughs> uh, in conclusion, screw this guy, I never want to talk about him again.